Let's talk about the dream. The dream is very important because this is the area where people will express what they want. But in reality, what we need to know is what they need, really. It's a business we're running. You know, every creation requires investment, requires time, money, and all kind of people to be coming in and contributing. So, very important from a business perspective, we understand the need. If people say, we want to make money, okay, that's what you want. But what is it that you need to achieve from a financial perspective? Do you need to drive people in your, for example, if it's a show, drive people in your theater so the rest of all your investment in the property and the real estate and the restaurant and the casino, you know, benefit from that? Or you're just looking at a need to recover your investment in this show within the box office. Um, there might be bigger value than just box office revenue in this case. So we have to understand the full picture of the need that this creation will bring, uh, will fulfill into the overall investment. So that discussion is key because if you start with the wrong need from a financial perspective, you might end up with a wrong concept that will not deliver you the results expected. Many times people, they want the biggest show, they want the biggest, uh, they want a big wow, but their expectation is that they need to recover the money into this very quick. Now, if your need was to have something from a brand perspective that would make you, you know, the landmark of your city and people would be proud because you got the theater, you got the biggest show, that is different than if I need to recover the money on that from the box office, okay? And that might not be the same concept because, you know, the reality of the market, of what the people can pay, the number of people that could come in might not match the reality of what you're looking at with this big show. So it's important that we have this business plan discussion at the beginning. What is it the market can absorb? What level they can absorb? If you're developing video game, there's already a lot of people on the market. What is it that you're going to come up with? And at what level? Is it going to be the same as the other, a little bit more? So those are the important questions we need to answer. Also, who do we target? Okay, are we targeted kids? Are we targeting old people? We're targeting people in special country, uh, people speaking a certain language. Uh, it's important to know because all of this information, how much money we're willing to spend, how much we need to recover, you know, what target market we're facing, you know, this feeds the concept. And the concept people, the people that develop the, uh, the artistic side and the creation, they need to know that. If you don't tell them, well, then they're working with very vague uh, teaming, a good show about this, and but it's, they don't have any scale, they don't have any parameters to work with. Same thing with operation, right? Is this something, for example, if it's a show, is it something that's going to be moving? rapidly from you know two three days in one place two three days in the other place or every six months we're going to be moving and then we have more time to move or it's just going to be there forever so that again is a different input that needs to be put in the concept you need to have these discussion right from the start we cannot discover that after the concept is done those are input that are key in order for you to pass it on to your team so they develop your concept that makes sense that fulfill the needs from a business perspective, not what people want. Because if you ask people what they want, they say, we want to make money, or somebody will say, I have a great concept, I want someone to invest into it. Uh, that's great, but that's not the way we're going to be able to measure success at the end. So once you have understood the business itself, the market itself, and also the operation side of it, then you could pass it on to your team for concept. The concept will start. We have a section on concept, so I'm not going to spend time you know, going through the concept here because it's a series of steps in order to get to a concept and, and detail. But at the end of the concept, you will have the actual concept that you're proposing, the team, the story. You will have also the budget that goes with it. You will have the schedule that goes with it and key resources that are required. Everything in order for the people that makes the decision in investing or not, you know, will have. So they can make the proper decision versus the business they were targeting, the market they were targeting, and also the operationality that they were targeting. 
That's your job as an executive producer to make sure this whole package, you know, business needs, market needs, and operational needs, and the concept, and the budget, and, and the schedule fit together. And this is what you bring in front of the investor, and they decide. Let's go to execution, let's go to design and production, and we'll see all the face later, but yes or no, and go, no, go.